Welcome to part 18 of the Basic Training Booster Pass Edition. Today we're going to cover everything you need to know to play Boo Lake on 150cc. The recommended build for this course is going to be our usual try-hard build, but you know what? It's one of only two Boo-themed courses in the game, so we're going to use King Boo with Biddy Buggy, Azure Rollers, and Paper Glider for this run. When the run begins, you want to just turn very slightly to the right. If you've got good soft drifting, you can build up a super mini turbo around this first turn, but otherwise, just build up a mini turbo and trick off the ramp. This next turn can be a little bit weird. What you want to do is hang kind of a hard right to grab the coin, but then widen up just before going around the turn by holding a hard left. You should just barely make it past the wall on the left, which should buy you just enough time to build up another super mini turbo before grabbing the two coins on the left path. What's frustrating about this strategy is that it's pretty precise. A little bit too far to the left and you'll bonk the wall. A little too far to the right and you just won't be able to build up the Super Mini Turbo and still grab the two coins. So what I'd suggest is that if your alignment is screwed up, just release the Mini Turbo and then grab the coins instead. In either case, while grabbing the left coin on the first path, do a right hop and then a left drift to build up a Mini Turbo before this ridiculous hairpin turn. Widen up your drift angle just enough to grab the three coins and then build up an Ultra Mini Turbo around the hairpin. Release it and then wait for just a second and then do a left drift off the ramp. If you want to go for something kind of advanced, then you can hold a hard left before going into the water to start charging your mini turbos in midair. And then when you get into the water, just hold kind of a hard right to start widening your drift a bit. After that, what you're going to want to do is use your mushroom and drift off to the left to take this shortcut before releasing your ultra mini turbo. Now I should point out a couple of things about this shortcut. First of all, it's really easy to miss that it's even there. But once you see it, it's easier to take than it looks. The other thing is that you want to use your mushroom fairly early, as in, you want your mushroom to run out right around the time when you come out of the shortcut so that you can chain it directly into the Ultra Mini Turbo. If you use your mushroom too late, it is okay, but your mushroom boost will be cannibalized a bit by the Ultra Mini Turbo boost, which will cost you a little bit of time. The third and final thing to point out is that you do want to start the turn going into the shortcut kind of wide so that you can hang a hard left and take the shortcut as tightly as possible. Otherwise, you'll kind of get flung out to the right a bit. So after coming out of the shortcut, start a right drift and widen your drift angle a bit to grab the next two coins. And then, upon building the Super Mini Turbo, release it and immediately start another right drift to build up a Mini Turbo. And now, this. Now what exactly is going on here? Well, if you trick off the ramp, you spend roughly 13.5 million years in midair before landing to finish the run. But tricking off the railing actually gives you a much lower trick. It's disgusting how much time this one strategy saves over the course of the full run. About half a second per lap, or 1.5 seconds in total. So it's definitely worth it to learn, but boy oh boy are you going to be pulling your hair out to learn it, so I hope that you have insurance that covers hair plugs. Well, actually on lap 1, it's relatively easy to learn because there's a really nice visual cue in that after getting the last mini turbo, you want to trick off the middle arrow of the first ramp and then aim for the coin in the second ramp. As long as you trick off both ramps, you should land on the railing, and then despite the fact that it looks like stairs, it drives like flat ground for the most part, so you can easily get the trick. Now on lap 2, things become significantly more difficult, because you lose that coin as a visual cue, and you kind of just need to aim your cart in such a way that you're driving straight toward the railing. As in, you need to be paying attention to where the railing is as soon as you come around that turn, which can make timing the tricks pretty tough. Now unfortunately, I don't have much more advice to how to hit this consistently. The one piece of advice I do have for you is this. If you think you're going too far to the right, it is possible to nudge the joystick left a bit and still land on the railing. And actually, I intentionally aim slightly to the right so that I can do this every time because I've found it to be a little bit more consistent for me. But under no circumstances should you ever try and course correct to the right if you find that you're already too far to the left. Trust me on this. It won't work, and there's about a 99% chance that you'll fall in the water. It's much better to just take the L and get the crazy airtime off the ramp. Now that we're done with that, we're on to lap 2. It mostly plays the same as lap 1 except for two things. First, we're going to take the right hand pass so that we can build up a super mini turbo more quickly. And then we're going to do a left hop into a left drift while grabbing our 10th coin. After that, we're going to start the hairpin turn way outside so that we can take it really tight. But other than that, the strats are the same. The world record uses Baby Daisy instead of King Boo, which as we all know by this point means more mini turbos and higher levels of mini turbo. But there's really not that much to talk about beyond that, except for the fact that they take the left path on lap 3 instead of the right path due to the positioning that their mini turbo strats put them in. Now before checking out my current personal best, I did say that I'd talk about shroomless strategies for a bit. I was kind of exaggerating when I said that you have to play the whole track differently. 
Really, it's just the stuff with the hairpin turn and the shortcut. Basically, since we're not using mushrooms, on lap one, we're going to avoid the three coins on the outside of the turn and take that hairpin really tightly. We're then gonna do this kind of silly looking strategy where we do the left drift off the ramp like before, but then we're gonna go way off to the right. I'm talking holding a hard right almost the entire time. And then we're gonna trick off the second ramp while still holding left so that we can grab another coin while tricking off the next ramp. Finally, we're gonna grab two more coins while building up an ultra mini turbo and then do a right hop into a left drift to build up a final mini turbo before the crazy ramp strats. Now the main differences between what we just went over and what we did in my personal best is that we take a tight turn around the hairpin, but then we don't do the shortcut on lap one. Now like I said, it is possible to take that shortcut without mushrooms, but it saves less time than going around the hairpin tightly, so kind of a lesser of two evils sort of deal. Now how do we take the shortcut without mushrooms? Well, kind of how we did it with mushrooms to be honest. We're going to take the previous turn a little bit more tightly before drifting off the track, but then when you land in the off-road, you want to get as close to the bushes as possible so that when you land, you can jump to release your Ultra Mini Turbo and hit the bushes before you land. This will allow you to move through the bushes without losing any speed. It's a bit precise, but not nearly as difficult to learn as the rail tricks, so you should be able to learn this one fairly quickly. That's it for the strategies. Let's check out my current personal best while we talk a bit more about the track. By the way, if you found the video helpful, there are probably other people like yourself who are looking to improve at the game, so don't forget to drop a like and a comment on this video so that it can get spread to more people. Thank you very much, it really does help out the channel. Now, Boo Lake. It's by far the shortest course in Wave 3, but that definitely doesn't mean it's the easiest. Between the coin lines, the ramp strats, and the shroomless shortcut if you're running without mushrooms, there's not a single moment where you're not in danger of just losing a run completely. Those ramp strats in particular are a godforsaken nightmare to learn because you pretty much have to be set up for it perfectly as soon as you come out of the hairpin turn. And if you're not set up for it perfectly and have to do some course correction, the overwhelmingly likely outcome is that you're going to lose half a second minimum. But you know what? This stuff is great. I know that when I talk about these so-called nightmare strategies that it can sound like I'm complaining, but to be completely honest, this sort of stuff is what I live for when it comes to time trialing. And Boo Lake might actually be my favorite 150cc track to time trial in Wave 3. Usually with 150cc courses, the difficulty comes from the fact that you've got to do a ton of complicated counter hop strats or glider vectoring or some other 150cc exclusive tech that you need to execute properly to make the track work. But Boo Lake is all about precision in your lines, and in that sense, it reminds me a lot of time trialing on 200cc where you pretty much need to have a pre-planned route to make it out successfully. But once you have that route, you solve 95% of your problems. And not only that, but when you do execute said strategy successfully, it makes you feel like you're a Mario Kart god. And that's everything you need to know to play Boo Lake on 150cc. I hope you all found this video helpful, and don't forget that I do release new tutorials every week, so subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when a new one drops. Thank you all very much for taking the time out of your day to do some basic training, and as always, I will see you in the next video.